Hey everybody, Michael here from GetFitOver40.com. I'm at Tim Hortons. I've done the first part of my morning walk. I've gotten to Tim Hortons. And uh, yeah, I'm doing a video on what am I eating two weeks out from the West Coast Iron Van City Showdown. And so you might wonder, what am I doing at Timmy's? I got a chocolate dip donut. I got a coffee here. It's basically a dark roast with a splash of English toffee. So the whole thing's probably close to 250 calories or so. Uh, anyways, <laughs> a lot of carbs. It's probably the carbiest thing I'm going to eat. Uh, at least for the most part. I'll have a couple of rice cakes later on before I go to bed. But that's, you know, I don't eat other more. I really don't eat a lot of carbs other than those. Um, and you're probably wondering why am I eating a donut at Tim Hortons two weeks out? Well, it works. It fits into my macros. Uh, I'm not totally low carbing it yet. Not like I'm trying to, not trying to get rid of all my carbs. That'll happen next week. So the next week I won't be allowed to have a donut in the morning. But I can now. With all the walks and exercise I do, I'm way under calories in a nice calorie deficit, and that's the most important part. I'm still getting enough protein. I'll be putting macros up on the screen and calories throughout this video so you can kind of see what's going on. Yeah, this isn't the healthiest thing, but it gets me kind of going in the morning. I get up, kind of excited to walk to Tim Hortons and have my donut and coffee, and then I walk back a little bit more leisurely and get home and start my day do my work day and stuff and get all my other activities in and work and workouts and all those things. So uh, I'll be heading home, I'll be doing some work. And then uh, later on the day after, probably after I pick up my son, after school, after 2 p.m., I'll have lunch. So it's a bit of a late lunch. I don't need anything else till then. And uh, we'll go through that. I'll show you what I'm eating for lunch when I get there. Uh, it'll be well, obviously less carbs, more protein, that kind of thing, but not a lot of calories for lunch. The big calorie meal comes at dinner time. And I'll be showing that and I'll be showing my snack. So stay tuned. All right, it is lunchtime. It's about 2.40 in the afternoon. Uh, just lots going on. I had to pick my son up, had a bunch of things I had to do, some work, some posing practice, all kinds of stuff. So now I'm eating and then I'm gonna go head to the gym. So I'll get some food in me before I head to the gym and do a workout. We have roasted chicken breast with a little bit of cheese on there. It's not much, it's just it's a Tex-Mex grated cheese. That I put on there it's about 50 calories of cheese we have some romaine lettuce so lettuce kind of like a lettuce wrap with some onion there's tzatziki sauce it's 50 calories worth of tzatziki um, I believe the chicken here is about 190 calories for both of these guys and then we've got some onion and some hot sauce and mustard and a zero calorie diet coke I think the whole meal here is 333 calories and it's pretty good actually and um, a lot of protein very low carb obviously a little bit of fat because of the cheese maybe a little fat in the tzatziki but other than that not much fat and it fits into the macros nicely so that's pretty much it for lunch next meal you're going to see is going to be dinner it is officially dinner time at almost 8 30 p.m kind of late but my son had soccer practice at 6 15 right when dinner is supposed to happen and I didn't have time before his soccer practice to do anything about making dinner it was just one of those days so it had to wait so instead of eating I was walking and uh, so we have some Alaskan sole almost 500 grams it's a lot it's about 400 calories worth of uh, sole so it's a lot of protein and then I have a Baja chopped salad minus the carbs crackers or whatever you want to call these things I guess chips to fajita chips or something keeping those out to keep the carbs down and then I have a ultra beer here three grams of carbs and my cat is destroying my video here making noises and so anyways yeah this whole meal is around 800 calories the Baja salad has a bit of fat in it but the this the sole doesn't have much fat at all so it kind of evens out um, this is my big meal of the day and it's quite a big one and then There'll be a snack tonight, which I will go over later and talk about that when it happens. I forgot to mention how I prepared this sole, this Alaskan sole. A little bit of butter in the bottom of the pan, so yes, a little extra fat. Some lemon juice. Some Cajun seasoning that I get from Earl's. You can actually buy Earl's Cajun, blackened Cajun seasoning. So I put that in there as well. And then basically fried them up, flipped them over. Add a little more Cajun sauce or seasoning to them, and they taste really good. It is snack time, and so what we have here is we have some rice cakes. They're the um, 
what are they now? They're the caramel chocolate chip rice cakes. So they're a little higher in calories than the plain one, but not terribly. A little more sugar, obviously. There's about a tablespoon of peanut butter, just under a tablespoon of peanut butter in each one, but I should just count it as a, as a tablespoon. And a tablespoon of low sugar uh, raspberry jam. So it's 20 calories per tablespoon, and there's one on each. Then I have these different cheeses. The left and right one are about 60 to 70 calories, and then the this one here is a, flip it over here so you can see what it is. It's an aged cheddar and that one is about 90 calories. And then I have a protein shake, 110 calories. And uh, that one's 20 grams of protein. And I throw some blueberries in there, frozen blueberries, not too many, about a half a cup of frozen blueberries. It just thickens it up, gives a little more grit to it. Makes it taste a little sweeter too, so it's pretty good. And that whole, that whole snack's pretty high. It's actually 670 something calories. I'll tell you the macros is about almost 60 grams of carbs, about 30 grams of fat, and about 45 grams of protein. So I didn't really say much about the macros in my other meals and the calories. I'll probably be putting um, little text over top of them, but I'll just cover that again right now. So breakfast was 286 calories with 47 grams of carbs. 9 grams of fat and 6 grams of protein. So not the highest in protein, kind of high in carbs, but it was my little kind of get out the door, get get the day going type thing. Get that treat out there, get me walking, burn off a lot of calories while I'm walking there. And then lunch was 333 calories, 11 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fat, 46 grams of protein. Dinner was 807 calories with 19 grams of carbs, 33 grams of fat, and 92 grams of protein with all that fish. And then the total for the day was about 2,100 calories, which is 136 grams of carbs, 87 grams of fat, and 188 grams of protein. And just so you know kind of where this leaves me at the end of the day, basically I ate 2,100 calories. My BMR, so my base metabolic rate, is 2,100 calories. So I ate my BMR. So what that means is whatever activity I did will put me in a deficit and according to my Garmin watch, all the stuff that I did today, all the workouts and walks and posing and everything, I burned about 1,600 calories in activity. So that puts me in a 1,600 calorie deficit, which is pretty aggressive, but that's what you got to do two weeks out is get aggressive. I usually like to be around a 1,000 calorie deficit, but we're trying to push it a little bit here. I am going away next weekend. Um... For Friday and Saturday so those days aren't going to be like super low calorie days I'm going to try and be in a slight calorie deficit on both those days so I don't undo what I did for the first part of the week but I do have to be aggressive for the first for basically Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday for sure to make up for what happens on Friday and Saturday and then Sunday I'll be back in the groove and then I'll be able to diet hard again Monday through Friday and then start carving up on Saturday before the show all right I'm going to sign off for this video